Hey everybody, welcome back. My worldview has been shattered uh, on the weekly this week because I've recently discovered that the best animal in the pack no, is the pug. And it would just be like a wavy phantom or whatever. I can't justify that. It makes no sense to me. And yet my incredibly small sample size does not lie. When we have a pug, we win. When we don't have a pug, we lose. I've, I've almost, I've moved the pug up in my, in my power rankings to a much vaunted realm that rarely is reached even by the upper echelon of units. It's like an always take. And I don't say that loosely. We lose these. I'm a little surprised. You, you were quite statted up there, but I, I still, this is the team I wanted to take. We get a level. We don't get a puppy. You know what we can do? This, to me, seems like blowfish possible. Don't, don't. It's not the... This is not the way. Just give the blowfish a little HP. We know we want to give it a pineapple later. We know we want an elephant that maybe hits a blowfish or a triceratops or a... Yeah, I, I think an interesting idea is a blowfish saber tooth, which I have seen, like, or an elephant saber tooth, I should say, which I've seen at the, the back of some squads. Why am I talking about the blowfish as if it's an elephant? We want an elephant. That's what we want. It's an elephant. Not interested. Interested, but we'll take our level probably next time. Anybody here need a croissant? I don't think so. Apple? No, you'd rather... I think cupcake if you gotta. I can't really like buy this without screwing up the buff. So I'm still gonna go cupcake, blowfish. And then next round, we hopefully start some Kaiser Permanentes on the on the stat upgrades. This is a very scary team. That did not really benefit us, unfortunately. In fact, I think it it was pretty horrible for us. <laughs> and yet we draw, okay. I'll take that, considering the situation. You hate to buy a cupcake and draw, but whatever. It is what it is. Penguin. You have to. It's at least good enough to take. And maybe we say no more moths. Okay. No pineapple on you yet. I, c I can... I can hear you uh, judging me. I'm going to get this seahorse out. I'm going to put out a second blowfish. I know that seems crazy. It kind of is crazy, but, I mean, it's a 3-5. I think we could do some work with a 3-5, man. We're still living. That's an insanely strong unit. Holy, that's an elephant and a half, man. So we draw. But I'm still, their, their name was my butt. It's so, so juvenile. Roll me. Come on, give me a blowfish. I don't want another moth. I don't want another moth. I don't want any of this garbage. It's all bad. You need a pineapple at some point. I could freeze that for you. I'll take it for the scaling. It, ch chat, level with me. Be honest with me. I want this. Okay, I want you to tell me. How many elephants have I rolled past up to this point? Well, I tunnel visioned on the blowfish badly. Badly. I can't help but notice every team we go up against also has a blowfish. <laughs> Like, literally, all oh, every single one. No! It's okay, we win. Okay. But that's fine. Because we are winning. Very interesting. It is... Forget this. We love this. We love this. I still think the garlic is probably doing more work for us right now. Than the pineapple. But honestly, if we're scaling this much, the marmoset... I, I can't believe I'm giving a marmoset garlic like he's, he's going to be invited to sit at the head of the table on Thanksgiving. But it's it's the truth. That's where we stand right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. When the fry bites back, my man. No sweat. Four wins. More. We want more. I hate to say it, the moth is gone. And so is, we'll get another pineapple later. It's a necessary part of our evolution. We've chosen the units we're going to stick with. Look, it's a bit of a scumbag team. 
But look at how fast this blowfish is going to scale. Maybe we don't need an elephant. Maybe the blowfish can get it done itself. That's idiotic. You and I both know there's no way that's ever going to come to pass. Holy cow. We draw. <laughs> but the scaling factor is out of control. Keep that blowfish going, man. You know what? Scale it. You know what? Scale it. You're gone in favor of a cow. You already know what I'm going to say about a cow. If a problem comes along, you must scale it. Scale it good. 2430 blowfish. What is this, like round one? We're probably now at the point where I would feel somewhat comfortable giving the blowfish a pineapple and getting some extra triggers out of it. But it is also like the hopes and dreams of our entire run. Um, wait, five, four, one, three. Holy cow, it's the greatest poodle team of all time. We are in a situation where we really need the blowfish to live more than anything else. So you know what? Take a lemon instead. Lemon is one of those things I underrate every time it's in the shop. But then when I fight an opponent who has it, I'm like, that's the best item in the game. Okay, I'll be honest with you. Melon is not great for us. It causes us a, a certain amount of problems. And yet, when a problem comes along, you must zip it. Zip it good. Takes us to six. I still think you can scale. Now there's a part of me that says, oh, we really, are we going to create a super penguin? <laughs> a super penguin in position three? All right. I mean, if you got to. Now the blowfish HP is going to be, they can, they can weather one more turn, but they're looking pretty maxed. Even a stake didn't get me down too much. Let's go. That's in, the value we've gotten on these trades is insane. I wouldn't mind you being a level 3, but I also feel like... Like a poodle getting to level 3 is a little bit more important for the overall squad. A little pizza party, okay? You don't need to be at the front anymore. Just being honest. So... I actually think now we're creating a super marmoset. It's going to take a couple of turns to get there. 23, 25 garlics, nothing to sneeze at though. I think. I hope. No sweat, man. No sweat. I can't. Well, I can believe it's still working. This is like the purest team of all time. It's just stats. You should take this. It's If you don't get sniped, it'll be very advantageous. We don't really need more HP, to be honest. We go, oh yeah, level two poodle, we do need. I might even put a stake on the monkey, honestly. We, we have nine HP. We have nine HP. Holy cow. We're, we're, we might get to the point where we create a super penguin if things go well. If things go well. I don't believe it. The stakes actually got us there. That's gotta hurt. My mental model. Go ahead. Don't stop till you're numb. We don't need a pineapple, man. It's unnecessary. More poodle? More pizza, maybe? We don't really need a blowfish to level up right now, quite frankly. Is the, the question is, is the, are the stats good enough? Because the team is not good. The team has no actual utility. <laughs> I think this team's going to blow us out. And I respect it. I, I love the double orca strats. Nothing but respect for my president here. Okay, well done. Unfreeze me. Freeze me. Let God decide. God has decided on the marmoset. Well, and the monkey, please. And the more chocolate. Okay, so we'll probably go penguin next. Again, this is where we're going to start to suffer. Like a 50-50 that doesn't do much is great when you're going up against predominantly like, you know, 2020s or whatever. 
<laughs> we are not going up against 2020s anymore. We're going up against like 4040s that do something. So this is for all the marbles right here. And I'm okay with that. I would rather take the penguin up a little. Give the monkey some support. You know what? It's the only way. I think the world would feel better if I lost this one. And I'm okay with, with being that guy. This is going to be a heck of a snipe. Never mind, it wasn't that bad at all. I, th I can't believe it. We have proved that there is the existence of true evil in this world. We made it work. There's another 10 piece for you. Uh, you don't see that too much. 4950 Marmoset up at the front. Run me back. I see a 1 3. I want two seahorses. This squad will lose. <laughs> but that's okay. You'd be a jolly husband. This is like legit how I feel right now. I'm feeling pretty darn good, quite frankly. I don't know, maybe we can beat this squad. Maybe we can exactly draw with this squad. Two seahorses is better. Roll me once just to see if we get a third seahorse. We don't. Um, seahorses are the most likely to stick around, so take the buff. We'll hit two units for one. Again, it's unlikely to get a kill, but if they're running like super moths or something, then okay, we get a kill on a moth. That's not so bad, man. This is bad, though. Yeah, this is, like, it's really, really bad. It's the first time in a while we got zero wins in the first two rounds, but I'm, I'm still feeling okay, because you get a level. A kangaroo. We, we've been running this sort of style for a bit. Or, or we ran it recently, I should say. So I know what we can do here. Two iguanas is also great. I really want to win this round, though. Let me, let me get a cupcake here first. Because I want... The kangaroo basically is, is going to be a surrogate good unit. As long as it doesn't get sniped, I'm happy to have it. The, the cupcake gave us exactly enough to get two triggers on the kangaroo, which didn't matter at all. And yet... And yet... We win. Okay. So now... Keep the progress chunking. I would honestly just sell you. Let's get some gold going here. We want to see a seahorse or an iguana. A seahorse. I actually think it's good. Now we're going to do two damage to two units. And I was legitimately, the only thing I wanted to see there was a cupcake. This team only works if the kangaroo gets to be like a, at least a 5-6. That seemed fine to me. This seems great to me. It seems fantastic. All right. Now we can start to think about where we'd pivot from here. You don't shoot the messenger, I guess is what I would say, because we are going to be rolling Leech Peacock, because you have to. It's simply the, the best option available, like, forever, and we haven't run it in a while. So for this round, I think that gets you there. And I'd love the kangaroo to level up. I, I love the kangaroo to level up. We freeze a lollipop in order to pivot our peacock, probably after the next suck. I think we can wait one more suck, even if we get some losses in here. A little nasty. A little nasty on that one. I'm not going to lie to you. It was a little nasty what you just did to me. Fair enough. As long as we can keep our HP high, we're okay. It's really hard not to... Like, take an iguana here. With six gold? But we'd be missing our level up, man. I don't want to. I don't want to swap you yet. That's the only thing. I'm gonna level you. I'm okay with that. So you're gonna be doing four damage to one unit. That's not enough. Like our iguanas, prob our iguana and our seahorse are both leaving, and possibly also our kangaroo. <laughs> we got to figure out how we're gonna do that first, okay? Because we got we got problems, we got priorities, and we got problems. No, we're gonna win this one easily. As soon as the peacock starts popping, the kangaroo becomes much better. Don't don't lose sight of that. Swap me. We can't really use a pug here. And I know it's like, you know, ignore the pug at your own peril, strangely enough. But this is the honest... Oh, no, we can't really... You're right. We can't really put the kangaroo back there yet. So we got to think about how we would run this. What about... Hopefully guaranteeing that, at worst, our seahorse won for once. Hmm. 
Hmm. Even though we want to sell it, I don't know if I... It's a bit of a, a bold play. At least this guy... Oh, at least he's only a level one. It's still really bad for the record. It's still horrible. Still horrendous for us. But we're not on lethal. And every turn, the peacock gets a little closer to having his ult charged. Well, we are on lethal, by the way. Never mind that thing I just said about not being on lethal. You can take a croissant, and you can do this. And I, I actually think that we still win this. Do I seem scared? I mean, maybe a little bit, because I'm not running monkey, poodle, and penguin, but... Oh no, my team. My entire team. The, the sun and the stars, my reason for living. We lose these? <laughs> Dude, leech penguin is horrible! Never take leech penguin! It's all about Pug Marmoset. Okay, here, they, this is the squad. Did I say Leech Penguin? You know what I mean. Leech Peacock, you know what I mean. Maybe a nefarious computer. More like all of them, am I right, boomers? How do I print PDF? Listen, Jack. Listen, Jack. Can I use your printer? We draw these. Folks. How do I convert a Word doc to a PDF? Okay, two Marmosets. I wanted to see a 2-3, but I'll accept an Ant. And you know what? The Marmoset is the most likely unit to stick around right now just because it's the most likely to hit level 2 and give us a Penguin immediately. I would love to be Iguana Pilt. But we are not. It doesn't matter. We win these. We got it. Easy mode. There's no doubt in my mind. You pill an ant, it doesn't matter who you hit. Very happy to see that. Then, you roll a pug, because it's the best unit in the game somehow. You can add a dromedary to the squad. I certainly think I could sell you and put a marmoset on the team. That's just for future value, okay? We're not doing back duds, just the dromedary just has stats. Don't get it twisted. You don't see too many seagulls. In this day and age, man. That's a bit of a rarity. We win these. Thank you, Dromedary. It's two wins, three rounds. You know what? While we're here, another Dromedary. <laughs> we kind of have to. And then if we're going to do that, we should really just put you over here. And then I guess, you know, it, it really doesn't do anything for you. What do you think about a, a dromedary buffing an Emperor Tamarin so we can buy-sell over time for some insane stat bonuses? I would tell you that I think this makes no sense at all. And that's exactly why I'm committed to trying it here. I think it's going to screw our whole team up, and I think that that's going to be... Very hilarious is my, my hope, at least. We're going to lose this round without a doubt. Which I suppose makes sense when you look at our team. <laughs> it's not exactly the most confidence-inspiring team of all time, and I did just suggest something that's more idiotic than maybe any strategy I've ever had in my life. Um, I do think the kangaroo can work here, and I've, I've made mistakes before. I suppose. I guess so. I I guess we're going to want one of the Emperor Tamarins to just be on the team instead of a seahorse. Yeah, that's fair. Because the 2-3 seahorse, I don't think is doing what we needed to do. Level 2 elephant is going to be uh, it's gonna be a problem for me. And yet, and yet, and nevertheless, and yet we draw. <laughs> Yes? It, that's actually huge. You're gone. Why don't you come out first just because you have better stats? Holy cow. Is there anything that can stop us when we have a level 3 Marmoset? I mean, were you not here earlier when it became apparent that that's the strongest uh, unit in the game? As long as you also have three incredible scalers to back it up? It, it's huge. This is huge. Still huge. Okay, the kangaroo can go. I can't really sell the dromedary or the tamarind right now. And that's 
a problem, because then how am I going to get a blobfish? The answer, you don't need one. How are we going to get a cow out there? Can't sell a kangaroo. Can't really sell a drama. We, we, we can sell a dromedary. Be sensible. We don't have to sell it yet. <laughs> uh, this is so stupid. Like, it's, it's genuinely horrible. No, oh, we can't sell a dromedary, man. Okay, well, I mean, forget the cow for now. I don't really care if the do if the dromedary is getting a buff uh, right now because it exists to give buffs. Is this okay? Did our kangaroo get the buff it needed? It did. Okay, the duck's got a pineapple on it, man. What are you doing? I don't know what's happening. But the more confused I am on these runs, it seems like as long as we have a pug, the better we do. Okay, forget the buffalo. It's too easy. All right. I'm going to keep this here for back to purposes. But like, what are you... So when... You, but what are you going to do? Like, you don't do anything. Like, what are you going to do? A monkey makes so much sense. But I refuse... No, you know what? I hate to say it, but the time has come. We go Big Marmoset. I know people are so sick of seeing it. Oh, every time with the Big Marmoset, it's so overpowered. Try something new. You don't understand, okay? We're, wait, we're back to an Emperor Tamarin. When we get an Emperor Tamarin at level 2, this thing's gonna go freaking thermonuclear. You, you don't even know what's gonna happen, okay? You, you can't even fathom what's about to take place. I don't even know what we're gonna sell the tamarind for. We probably won't. We'll probably just die with it being on our team. But, but if we did, oh man. So that means we can't buy a cow, which seems kind of idiotic of me to commit to this strat. Nevertheless. <laughs> we don't even need to pop it out yet. Although we could pop out a huge kangaroo. The longer we wait, the more we win. And just keep feeding them. Just keep feeding them, man. We probably would rather have a lemon than a honey at this point. But, okay, so now the question becomes, my kangaroo! Now the question becomes, what do you want to sell the tamarind into? Because it might be freaking sweet when you do it. And I don't have an answer for you yet. But take one of those real quick. Take one of these. Take one of these. A chicken is a pretty sensible option. I might even freeze a chicken just in case. Just in case we end up on lethal this time. Let's make sure we got a, an Emperor Tamarin compliant chicken. I'm... God, I hate a woodpecker. <laughs> Piece of crap. All right, well, we got we to gotta do the Tamarin play. Chat keeps telling me it's amazing. Let's prove it right or wrong. Forget that. We're going straight into a super orca or a super tamer. <laughs> no, okay, okay, okay. Not smart. I'm being told this is not smart. Now you take some of this. Literally just a level two turtle sitting there. We want the orca to get buffed. Come on. Guess we might as well. Oh, by myself. Don't want to be all by my... That's better. That's... I don't think we're getting anywhere, by the way. But I think this is the only way we're going to get there. To that no place we're going. Oh no, my dromedary died. <laughs> Death touch! Whatever. That's bad. That's not that bad. That's actually, that's actually pretty good. We're fine. Wasn't even close, really, when you think about it. Okay, I guess. Why not? That's a big orca. Do we still want you? One random friend gets peanuts. Sure, why not? I don't know. We'll create like a, a big walrus. It makes sense to have the walrus at the front, I think. Give it a steak and everything. And the truth of the matter is that at this point, the monkey could probably go for something that provides more synergistic utility, but whatever. We're here. 
All things considered, that's not that bad for us. Thank you for not killing my kangaroo. It's kind of an important part of my strategy that it lives. We also get extra attacks out of this. Thank you. Thank you so much. I respect and appreciate you more than ever before. Okay. That takes us to seven. That's respectability. If you could one for one, I would, I would be over the moon. I want lemon on my kangaroo. I will not settle for garlic. Okay, for now, we'll, we, it's, it's just order of operations. You take the level two first, because it gives you an immediate benefit, and then you prioritize the level two on the walrus next time. My kangaroo died. I can't think of really much that would be worse for our overall chances of winning than that right there. This is not really helping. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Dude, I still had a great time though thanks for watching hope you did as well I can't believe the, the 10 pieces we've been having I'll see you next time see ya